Grace be unto you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. The 21st of June, Wednesday of the week of Pentecost 3. C.S. Lewis, 1898-1963. This from Mere Christianity. Why is God landing in this enemy-occupied world in disguise and starting a sort of secret society to undermine the devil? Why is he not landing in force, invading it? Is it that he's not strong enough? Well, Christians think he is gonna land in force. We do not know when, but we can guess why he is delaying. He wants to give us the chance of joining his side freely. I do not suppose you and I would have thought much of a Frenchman who waited until the Allies were marching into Germany and then announced he was on our side. God will invade. But I wonder whether people who ask God to interfere openly and directly in our world realize what it will be like when he does. When that happens, it is the end of the world. When the author walks onto the stage and the play is over, God is going to invade, all right, but what is the good of saying you're on his side then when you see the whole natural universe melting away like a dream and something else, something that never entered your head to conceive comes crashing in, something so beautiful to some of us and so terrible to others that none of us will have any choice left. For this time, it will be God without disguise, something so overwhelming that it will strike either irresistible love or irresistible horror into every creature. It will be the time when we discover which side we really have chosen whether we realized it before or not. Now, today, the moment is our chance to choose the right side. God is holding back to give us that chance. It will not last forever. We must take it or leave it. And the prayer, Martin Moeller, 1547-1606. Lord Jesus, our light and our salvation, you alone are the one who has come to save us. We thank you for your coming and for your will to perform in us again your saving work. Rule us by your Holy Spirit that henceforth we may wait for none other and put our trust in nothing in heaven or earth except you alone, our Lord. Amen.